Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are doing well, but hey, let's talk about perseverance and I wanna talk about some missing puzzle pieces that some of you guys might be leaving out of the puzzle if you're deciding to start a business of your own in 2019. Let's check it out. Make, 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 make the ground shake. All right, guys, what's up? My name is Brian. I am all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business. I actually just got done uh, working out at the gym and I'm exhausted. I got my butt kicked. Back to working out. It's me versus Jimmy John's. You guys know what I'm saying? I got to get rid of all this Jimmy John's and uh, kind of clean some stuff up as we go back in the spring. That way I don't get uh, behind the eight ball fitness wise and health wise, right? But I want to talk about something that I think would help you guys uh, go out there and crush it with your lawn care landscaping business and uh, definitely help you guys out if you're starting a new business in 2019. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to click subscribe, don't forget to click like, and let's talk about some stuff here that I think could really help you guys out. Now, I think one thing that a lot of folks want to do right now uh, in talking about starting a lawn care landscaping business going into 2019, and, and if you are, and if you're evaluating that, I'm super excited for you. Uh, I think the green industry is a, an awesome thing to participate in, run a lawn care landscaping business. It's fun. A lot of people did it uh, when they were kids. And you know what? Uh, it is a great industry. You can make some decent income, some decent money, some predictable income. Uh, I think it's pretty neat to be your own boss and there's a lot of perks and a lot of upside But one thing I don't think a lot of people really think through is the fact that you have to realize that if you're watching YouTube videos or my channel specifically, it's very upbeat. It's very positive. It's very fun It's kind of uh, I don't want to say flashy. You know what I mean? But I you guys got to uh, Differentiate the two and discern the two things number one I run a actual lawn care landscaping business and it's tough man. It's long care Care, it's landscaping, it's heat, it's sweat, it's long days, uh, long nights, and not a lot of sleep sometimes in the summer, right? But number two is I run a YouTube channel as well, portraying my lawn care landscaping business. And I try to keep that positive, upbeat, encouraging, helping you guys out. Uh, I don't do negativity, I don't do drama, I don't uh, cater to anything that's going to be like that because I just don't care. I can get triple the amount of views and make more money on YouTube, but I don't, I don't care about any of that. I want to just spend my time encouraging and helping you guys out that are going through the phase of building a lawn care landscaping business. But one thing that my channel portrays sometimes to some of you guys and gets you all excited and all motivated is that lawn care is fun and it's easy and it's quick and it's just, you get a couple mowers and you're going out there trimming and blowing and it's fun and it is and it's true. Now, it is now easier and more fun 10 years later. But the reality is that the first few years of my business absolutely sucked. And I'm gonna start with that. My first few years of business were trying and failing and adjusting. It was cutting my teeth, scraping my knees, uh, not a lot of sleep, a lot of failing, a lot of expensive mistakes. And I want you guys to know that my channel is a resource to help you guys steer clear of that kind of stuff. I don't want you guys to go through uh, some of the same garbage that I had to, right? Um, experience is when you learn wisdom is when you learn from other people's experience so it's always good to watch what other people are doing uh, duplicate and replicate their successful tips and patterns uh, and not have to make those same costs and mistakes of time energy and resources right but the reality is that you can't get fit watching somebody else work out Okay, if you wanna get six pack abs and go work out and, and get strong and get fit, you have to go to the gym. And it's the same thing with YouTube. Okay, you can watch all the review videos in the world, all my comparison videos in the world. You can watch everything in the world, but the reality is that you have to execute and start running a lawn care landscaping business. And this is my point. My point is that a lot of you guys may come up to the wall. You may come up to failure. You may come up to disappointment. And I wanna let you guys know where the skill set and the attribute of perseverance mean more than probably anything that I can teach you guys other than having a positive attitude. You know, I was actually hanging out with Keith Kalfas a couple days ago, and Keith Kalfas, uh, I said, Keith, what does confidence mean to you? Uh, because he said, you're a really confident person. And I said, I, I appreciate the nice words and the, the compliment, because I like being showered with you know, praise just like everybody else, right? And he goes, you, Brian, do you know what confidence really means? And I go, I don't know, dude. And Keith is a really smart guy. Keith Kalfas, a lot of you guys love Keith. I always love doing my ode to Keith, blah, 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 right? Because Keith is just funny. And Keith said, you know what? Confidence to me is the ability to have uh, belief in yourself to figure out problems. 
And I was like, all right, wordsmith, tell me more. And he said, it's the ability to know and to believe in yourself that no matter what comes against you, you can figure it out. And I've heard people say, there's nothing that sustained thought can't overcome. You've also heard things like the same level of thinking that created a problem can't be saw, uh, used to fix a problem. You have to go up. And I said, yeah, I am a pretty confident person, Keith, because anything that comes against me, whether it's business or life or marriage or this or that, I'm willing to change. I'm willing to grow. I'm willing to sacrifice, but I'm also willing to per uh, persevere. I'm also willing to endure it. And I think that's a missing attribute in a lot of people today. And I'm just going to shoot people straight. If you're watching this video and you're 30 and under, you generally speaking did not learn how to persevere. Generally speaking, you did not learn how to make it through tough times. Generally speaking, you're a quitter. I was a quitter. And I'm not here to throw shade at anybody. I'm just saying, generally speaking, I was taught when the going gets tough, the tough do not get going. They quit. They roll over and they whine on themselves. And I didn't learn that from my, my mom or dad. I learned that from society. I learned that almost everybody's a starter, but so peop few people are a finisher. And I just realized that most people don't know how to persevere. So when your mower gets stuck in the mud the first time, it's not that you suck or that you're a failure. It's that you have to learn how to get confidence to learn how to overcome that obstacle. Now, you watch a video that I do teaching you how to get unstuck from the mud, hashtag release the hydros, right? Uh, you'll learn how to overcome those kind of issues a lot quicker, a lot more simple. You'll have more confidence because you've already seen somebody been there, done that. That's what my channel is all about. That's what I get excited about is when you guys have to persevere, you know there's a resource out there. You know you can pick up the phone and call somebody. You know you can shoot an Instagram DM and I'll do my best. To, I'm not your problem solver guy. I'm a resource and there's many other good people in the community that are a resource, but that's what's all about. This community is all about. That's what my channel is all about is helping you guys get equipped. So when you hit the wall, whether it's, hey, something broke, something caught on fire, something, uh, I lost a wheel and I have to replace it. I got a flat. Well, no problem. Get your impact out. Get your trailer aid uh, plus. Boom, 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 boom. Here's how you trade a, a change a tire out in 14 minutes. You're back on the road. Oh, cool. But if you had to figure that all out on your own, it might be a lengthy process, i.e. 10 years of failing, 10 years of just, you know, busting my knuckles trying to figure crap out. Before I met my friend Mike, before Brandon was in business for himself, before I met all of you guys, before I had 50,000 people to banter back and forth with. Okay, YouTube is the same way, just so you guys know. It's a grind. A lot of you guys want to get started vlogging and sharing your business, and I'm all about that. But just remember, you're gonna have the same obstacles and struggles, and you're gonna have to learn to persevere while doing YouTube. It was, uh, nobody gave me shout outs, nobody gave me anything. I didn't have uh, golden goose that laid the golden eggs kind of connections with this company or that company, right? I guarantee you, if you grow a, a YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers, everything will come out of the woodwork and attach to you, and you'll gain those partnerships, okay? But you have to persevere. I knew that the first few years of doing YouTube, there'd be no money, there'd be no fanfare, there'd be no recognition, no accolades. And by the way, I don't care about any of that crap. Okay, I for real don't. But the reality is that you have to persevere. Now, I do less work and get more results, but that's business 101. Business, generally speaking, is exponential. And if you do it right, it's scalable, which is even more fun. Okay, but just like lawn care landscaping uh, with my actual business, we're 12 years in, and I like people that comment, well, he's only been in a business for a year or two, or he doesn't have a real business. I'm like, okay, let's just pretend those people don't exist because it's always better to look stupid than to open up your mouth and remove all doubt, right? But let's just say it took 10 to 12 years for me to now put in one effort uh, uh, module to get 10 results out of it. One effort index in for 10 results out. But before, it was 10 works in for one crappy result. But that's business, that's life, and that's what most people don't stick around to find out, right? When you work out the first few weeks, if not months, it's ugly. But then you put in less work almost, or typically average work, and you get more results. That's business. So business is exponential, generally speaking. But most of you guys, I want to just give you some encouragement that if there's any one thing that I could teach you, it's to stick it out. It's to persevere. It's to, yes, you're going to start this business. And yes, it's going to be fun. And yes, your wife is going to be all excited for you as well. And you're like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm quitting my job and I'm ready to rock and roll. But here's the, the funny analogy and here's the funny perspective I always have is that just because you're a 26-year-old engineer or a 24-year-old graduate uh, student and you got a business degree and you pay dues over here, that doesn't mean you pay dues over there. Why do successful people, generally speaking, not get out of their comfort zone and start something new? Is because they're not interested or willing to pay dues again in a different industry. Quite honestly, I know exactly how that feels. I don't want to uh, go start something else and be the loser, be the new guy, be the zero, be the I don't know what's going on 
going on person. And that's an ego hit. It's a, it's a knowledge thing. It's a time investment thing. But you know what? I'm still willing to eat dirt and pay dues just like Gary Vee always says. So that's what I'm just trying to give you guys. That Just because you jump into this industry, it doesn't mean you're gonna be successful. Just because you jump into the industry, it doesn't mean you're not gonna have hard times. Yes, I paint a picture that lawn care landscaping is fun and YouTube is fun with my lawn care business. But the reality is that I'm still working 80, 90, 100 hours a week to keep this machine going. Well, Brian, where do you find time for YouTube? Nights and weekends. While other people Netflix and chill, I go and do YouTube. While other people go watch TV and sporting events, I go YouTube. I go do YouTube videos. And that's where I find the time. I'm willing to persevere. I'm willing to endure. I'm willing to just help you guys out. Now, this isn't about me. This is about you. I'm letting you guys know that it's going to be tough starting your own career long landscaping business. So as fun as it is and as much uh, resources I can give you guys, you still have to cut your own teeth. You don't get fit watching somebody else work out. You have to go through those motions. You have to pay those dues and you have to figure it out on your own. I'm excited to be a resource for you guys, but don't get it mistaken. You're still going to have to pay dues and eat dirt and make it happen for yourself. All right, guys, go out there, go get them. I believe in you and we'll catch you guys in the next one.